Hello everyone. In this video today, I want to talk about a new game that I developed using the power of AI. Uh, the game is 20 questions. For AI, I am using Chad GPT's API and for Game Engine, I am using Godot. Now, instead of Godot, you can use any other web framework as well, which can provide a neat and clean user interface. Now, in this video, I want to concentrate more, mostly on Chad GPT because that's where the power of AI really shines. Games like 20 Questions are very high contextual language processing games, right? A user can ask questions in multiple ways. It can come from multiple contexts. Uh, and you, programmatically, that would be very difficult to achieve uh, because there could be grammatical mistakes, there could be spelling mistakes, so on and so forth. And that's where ChatGPT comes into picture. It can understand what the user is trying to say as well as it has very vast knowledge. So if a user is asking question, it can uh, compare that to a target and can provide a valid answer, which can, we can then provide that feedback to the user. Expecting the consistent result from ChatGPT was a difficult part. Uh, even though I have asked ChatGPT to format the answer in a particular format, it doesn't every time does that. Uh, one out of every 20 times it would fail. Also, sometimes it was... Uh, writing the target within the answer itself uh, that is defeating the whole purpose of the game so you have to do some post uh, process and pre-processing to ensure that uh, the answer is not getting leaked to the user and the format is coming correctly or not and as the game is ready uh, it has loaded the user interface and all those things uh, it then uh, talks to chat gpd api and is asks for random options uh, random person place and object and uh, we are selecting one uh, out of those three things and tell the user that the program is ready to uh, play the game and they can ask a question uh, once they ask a question we then add some contextual information to chat gpt for example we are playing this game and we this is the target and this is what the user is asking answer it in this particular fashion in true and false only so chat gpt takes that information in and processes it and uh, gives back an answer. Now that answer has to be formatted correctly for us to parse it um, in the game engine. All right, uh, let's jump right into the code. Uh, so this is uh, Grow uh, game engine. Uh, let's just quickly go through the user interface because not much is happening there. This is just a simple screen where you ask a question and I have a text panel where, where I'm appending the answers. This is the start screen, uh, which just shows you uh, the splash screen and asks you to click on play. And uh, this is the screen that shows up when you have won the game. All right, uh, so this is the uh, script uh, the functions are uh, taking place. Uh, so let me quickly go through that. Yeah. So uh, this is the funds function that gets executed. And in here, what we are doing is uh, I'm trying to uh, create a payload which will go to chat gpt um, so chat gpt has different uh, pricing plans uh, what you want to use you pay for that uh, so i'm using this particular model and how i am formatting the question is like uh, just a random place object and then format it in this particular fashion uh, so once i get a response i'll get a proper json uh, response uh, which i'll then parse we are just sending the HTTP request and this is the callback uh, that is happening uh, once the response comes in. So if the response is a success, uh, what I am doing is I am just parsing that data, the J JSON data, and then I am saving uh, the random person object and place uh, into the uh, global variables. I, In my game logic, I am then choosing one thing at random and then uh, telling the user that you know, a uh, game engine has chosen uh, either a place or object, uh, and then you have to uh, start asking question. Right. Next thing, a person will click on the ask button. Uh, again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm I'm formatting uh, the text in a format which can uh, be understood by a chat GPT. Uh, so uh, this is where it's happening. Uh, so, for example, we are playing 20 question game, and this is the target. And uh, question from the player is this, and uh, I want you to answer in true and false only. Uh, but what I have seen is chat GPT sometimes mentions the answer in along with true or false. So 
it doesn't always follow the directions to uh, make sure that you are handling those scenarios for example i am right now using a simple replace string and then removing any answer that is coming in the response before sending it to the user right ah uh, yeah it's happening over here and this is just a win screen so i'm just disabling those panels and then showing the win win, win screen and uh, this is where the power of uh, Godot comes into picture. Uh, formatting or creating user interfaces is so easy and handling, especially handling images, it's very simple. Again, uh, you can use any other web framework you would want for this particular purpose. It's very lightweight and it's very easy to use and also it's free. Right, uh, so this was the main script. Uh, in case you have any questions, comments, uh, please feel free to ask that and I'll try to respond. Um, Thanks for watching the video.